Perfect Corp is using artificial intelligence and augmented reality to transform the beauty industry and the fashion industry as well. And with me is CEO and founder Alice Chang. And great to have you here. And Hi, Dan. I know you've been public here for about a year and a half. So yes. congratulations on that. It's a major you. milestone. Thank you. Um, I gave a brief description about what Perfect does. Elaborate on that. What is the company doing? Yeah, Perfect Corp. We are uh, using AI and AR since we started nine years ago, and use the technology to help beauty and fashion, help the consumer, beauty fashion consumers, to solve their pain point. What's the beauty consumers' uh, uh, pain point? Mostly uh, virtual try on for the makeup, for the color on your own face, so you can try as many of uh, the, those uh, virtual colors on your, on your face until you like it and you buy it. So try before you buy and also uh, try more, buy more. Um, so we are working with the, uh, directly to the beauty consumers, fashion consumers providing the apps, beauty apps. Also we're working closely with all the beauty brands and the fashion brands because uh, they are they are using our technology. We are their AI technology partners. So they can provide their beauty fashion uh, consumers and purchaser uh, speed up their purchasing uh, decision. So as soon as you try, then you will know which one you like it, then you buy it. Yeah. And yes. Well, I was going to say that's really important because um, I buy a lot of makeup for TV and you don't always know, um, even in a store, but particularly online, a color doesn't always look the same on you as it does in the packaging or online. So this gives you a chance to do that before right. you buy something, try it. Then, I mean, nobody wants to right, use right. lipstick or whatever. So right. mm -hmm. eyeshadow, you can never yeah. try eyeshadows, yeah. the blush, right. foundations, mm -hmm. all the different categories. So how is Perfect unique then from some of the other similar types of companies out there? In the uh, virtual try-on, it's got to be a lot of uh, deep technology behind it. So the face tracking got to be very accurate. So the lipsticks got to be uh, very accurate on your lipsticks. Otherwise, it's not makeup, it's make down. <laughs> right, so got to be highly uh, super natural, uh, super realistic. And at the same time, the beauty and fashion brands, they don't need to have a sample tester anymore. In the store, uh, even in the store, where you try on save all the testers, you can try and imagine uh, how much waste we can save from it and also increase uh, customer satisfaction, reduce the return rate for, for, the, uh, for the brands. So all of all, not only solve the end user pain point on all the virtual try on things, but also, uh, you know, help the sustainability of those brands and also for the society. Sure, I mean, how many times have you bought makeup of some sort and you get home, you're like, this isn't what I thought, and it just sits there yes. for years sometimes. Yes. So, yes. no, I'm sure you're using artificial intelligence. How is that incorporated into the business? Yes, artificial intelligence uh, uh, is the key for us to be leading in the market. We are by far the leader. We work with um, almost uh, more than 600, almost 700 global brands together, mm -hmm. providing this uh, virtual try-on, including our uh, B2C apps. We have 10 billion virtual try-on times every year. So you see how that can uh, solve the pain point for all the uh, beauty fashion lovers. Yeah. And because we are using AI, all the accuracy is the best. So by far the leader to all the competitors. Mm -hmm. And because uh, we have a council, all the beauty brands, fashion brands, they can self-service by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's why we have a, a little bit more than 300 people in our company but we can serve like globally uh, around 700 mm -hmm. global brands. Do you collect data from the AI and use that for marketing or? Uh, actually, we don't do uh, identification, but we know uh, how many users try this color. How many users, uh, uh, for example, in the West Coast and the East Coast, in, uh, in um, China, in uh, Europe, the girls may may not like the same colors and in different seasons. That we know. We know the trend. 
we know the favorite of the uh, each region's uh, user. That's interesting. You would be able to pick up on trends very yes. quickly. Um, yes. So yes. Now, how has this reshaped the consumer experience and the experience from the beauty industry? Yes. So uh, you know. Uh, all the brands are testing our uh, our solutions with their end users, and the proof that uh, you know some of the brands uh, it shows uh, different cases. But some of the brands they see uh, the uh, increase the uh, uh, basket rate on the e-commerce by thirty percent, and keep their customer on the website much much longer, four times longer because they can try all the colors on their face, all 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 the different colors and uh, engagement rate is much higher. So the ROI proves very positive for them. And you know, because of, because of AI, we are expanding from makeup to uh, skin analysis, skin diagnostics. So AI and uh, camera, we can know your skin uh, concerns, skin conditions. Each one has different concerns and individual issues of your skin. Accordingly, you can get the uh, personalized recommendation from the brand which product you should use for wrinkle, for pore, for dryness, moisture, for acne. So AI is a pen, pen solver for all the uh, buyer and also provide the brands the uh, customer insights, um, customer, most importantly, personalized recommendation. We can use AI camera, recognize your face shape, eye shape, lip shape, your skin tone, recommend you the foundation colors because of your skin tone, recommend the best looks and your hair color. So probably the whole match, whole style should be different color. You can try, yeah. try all the colors for hair dye. Um, because of Gen AI, we, uh, we also create uh, hairstyle transfer. Okay, so you can try okay. different hairstyles, match with the makeup. How interesting. Yes, yeah. match with your mm -hmm. uh, jewelry digitally, virtually. It's a whole set of style. So that's all the dreams of uh, uh, beauty lovers, beauty consumers. It feels like we've been, g been going blind for years, just going, well, let's try this and try yes. that and, and I'll put moisturizer on, but you have no idea if you're hitting the right spots or some places yes. need more or less different, you know, yes. so this is where the AI yes. would help with that. You don't need to go to the store to try. Uh, you could try any place, any, anywhere. Now you work with Estee Lauder, right? Walmart. Yes. yes. Um, and so you mentioned they have found that the e-commerce has gotten a yes. boost and the return on investment has gotten a boost. And, yes. Um, where do you think that they might go with this more? continued relationships with you, more products? Yes, when brands does, starts the, this uh, uh, tech services with us, uh, normally they start from uh, uh, smaller regions or start with a uh, less category, like lipsticks first, and then it proves it has a great uh, improvement of the user engagement and the basket uh, amount. And then they expand to the whole category, the eyeshadow, everything. Uh, and then we have an AI analysis. They can do a personalized recommendation. So we have like 14 to uh, 16 different services they can choose according to their, their uh, different uh, demands. So do you want to do personalized uh, uh, recommendation? Uh, that's more AI uh, recommendation. And also because the whole style is not only a makeup, skin diagnostics and hairstyle, hair color, even jewelry, your watch, your bracelet, your nail. So I believe AR comes as long as uh, we can try on our own face, on our own body, on our ear, on our hair. And for the beauty consumers, the more we try, the more we buy. Yeah. Now, does somebody have to have an app? They have to have an app or how do they, if I wanted to try this, how would I see this on my computer or phone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the uh, app side, we have, uh, we have uh, six, uh, six uh, beauty apps you can try. Like you can makeup is the one, very specialized on uh, makeup and also face uh, retouch, face reshape, skin diagnostic, 
hair dye, hairstyle, all the uh, beauty related uh, uh, features. And for the brands, they provide the services on their brand.com, retailer.com. So their user can try as many as they like until they buy. So I think that's uh, because our B2C, B2B business are a combination. It's very unique, um, but B2C audience are beauty lovers, the same as uh, our beauty brands, fashion brands uh, customers, potential customers, existing customers are also the same group of uh, uh, users, beauty lovers, fashion lovers. So you can go to, if you uh, go to the brand.com, you can try at sealauder.com, culti.com, uh, walmart.com for the virtual try on or all skin diagnostics. And, or you can download our app, you can make up and you can try all things beauty. Okay, so finally looking forward, where do you see beauty and fashion and technology going? Yes, <laughs> you know, we are a technology company. I'm not a tech person, but I'm leading a company for 20 years. This is my second public company. Uh, the first company is also doing technology and second company, software technology. Mm -hmm. And this company we started nine years ago, Perfect Corp, also technology company. As a non-tech female leader leading the technology, I think this is very important because uh, we are not only tech, we have a very, very deep root of all the AI, AR tech mm -hmm. in order to provide the most accurate uh, services. But at the same time, we are also beauty lover by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we can speak the same language for all the uh, user group. We know the pain point. So mm -hmm. utilizing the AI, AR, uh, solving the pain point of those uh, beauty fashion lovers. And at the same time, provide to our beauty brand, fashion brand, to solve their users' uh, pain point. Mm -hmm. So AI is just, uh, especially after, uh, we started the first year, nine years ago, using AI to do virtual makeup and the skin diagnostic, hair style, hair color, jewelry try on, mm -hmm. until uh, last year, I mean, almost two years ago, GPT come to the market. Mm -hmm. That's another yes. upgrade of the AI. Sure. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Two days ago in New York, in our AI forum, Beauty and Fashion AI forum, we announced uh, Perfect GPT. So this is a whole new uh, next generation computer and human mm. interaction. Mm -hmm. So uh, previously, you go to the store, talk to a beauty advisor face to face. Mm. And now the website, every website, my vision, every website will have an AI assistant. Okay. It's a GPT, LLM. You know, yeah. It's like a natural dialogue, they natural just, conversation. Yeah, yeah. And then bring you to mm -hmm. the services. So you can ask what kind of uh, makeup I should wear tonight if there's a gala dinner. Uh, what kind of hairstyle I can wear, match my makeup if I'm wearing a, a, a black, black uh, evening dress. So they will give you all the advice and then let you try. Um, bring you to the virtual try on to the Gen AI uh, and then let you see let you see all the things uh, the AI recommend if you like it then you can buy it you can buy it oh fascinating well congratulations on your success thank you Jen best of luck thank you so much for coming in and explaining thank you thank you very much our thanks. pleasure yeah. thank you for inviting mm -hmm. us